All right, hi everyone. This is Nina at Franklin Park Conservatory. And what you are looking at is a box of butterflies that have just come in from Costa Rica. And I thought I would do a little bit of a unboxing video for you. So you can see uh, what these butterflies look like when they are in their chrysalis form and sort of see how they're packaged and, and what we do with them when they come into the lab. We have a fairly large order today. There are 402 chrysalises in this box. And you can see they are uh, stacked in here with the names of the butterflies. These are their Latin names. Here's my second list of chrysalises. Invoices in there is always a good thing. And you can see they are um, covered with some foam pieces there. These foam pieces have grooves in them, so the chrysalises sit safely in their grooves. My first little group here are called Grecian Shoemakers. And you can see they're sitting in their little, their little grooves. The Costa Rica farm pre uh, applies these little foam dots on there so that we can pin these to our boards without um, putting a pin through the chrysalis. You can't do that. You would uh, damage the, the chrysalis pretty badly and the butterfly would not emerge. So you, when you're pinning a chrysalis, you always have to make sure you have something uh, attached to to the butterfly um, that you can put your pin through safely. So those are the Grecian Shoemakers. They are that black and orange spotted butterfly. Now we have some long wing butterflies in here. We've got some zebra long wings. Oh, and actually this is not a long wing. So this is the zebra long wing at the top. And this down here is what is called a gulf fritillary. So here's the zebra long wing. And here is our gulf fritillary. All right. It's always fun doing your unboxing, see what different types of species we get in. We do receive quite a different amount of species every, every week. Um, these will be what are called cracker butterflies. They're called crackers because the male uh, butterfly has two little nubs on the side of his wing and when he flies it makes a cracking noise. Um, it's the one right here, a gray cracker. These are all from Central America. Like I said, they came up from Costa Rica. They were shipped on Monday. Today is Thursday. On average, most butterflies only live about two weeks long in the wild. There are some exceptions to that rule. Of course, the North American monarch has one generation every year that um, migrates to Mexico or Southern California, depending on if it's a Western monarch or an Eastern monarch. And they can live about nine months long. But in gen as a general rule, most butterflies live about two weeks long. Um, the long wings, however, and that would be any of the butterflies with these long oval-shaped wings, like your zebra long wing, 
your golden long wing, um, this Ismenius long wing, any of these paddle shaped, oval shaped wings. Uh, they live in the wild about five weeks long. Um, if they're having a good season, they could probably go a little longer. Um, but in captivity, they do really well. We have them in the conservatory sometimes for up to four, four or five months. And that's because they eat pollen. Uh, they are a nectar feeder, so they will be feeding on flowers. Uh, but they also collect the pollen out of those flowers. And pollen has a little bit higher uh, protein content to it, so they uh, have a better diet than most other butterflies. Here's our North American monarch, this green and gold chrysalis. Again, hopefully you can see that. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. It's got that gold coloring on it. A lot of people ask what the purpose of that is, if it matches anything with the butterfly's final colors or anything, and um, it, does, it does not actually. The monarch is a bright orange and black butterfly. It uh, doesn't have any gold on it uh, at all, and there doesn't seem to be um, any sort of reason for the gold color, um, but it's very beautiful <laughs> regardless. And again, if you're not familiar with the monarch butterfly, it's this black and orange butterfly. A whole bunch of monarchs in here. We've got a whole rack of them there. Another couple fun butterflies in here. Um, this butterfly here, people ask to see it a lot. It's very hard to find in the conservatory. It tends to kind of hang out on the side of uh, tree trunks. Same with this one. This is um, called a mosaic butterfly. And they are fruit feeders, sap feeders really in the wild. They'll be eating sap out of trees. That would be this one. It's one of the purple butterflies. Very rare in nature to find a purple butterfly. And then this is the mosaic butterfly. More monarchs. I'm just going to leave them in there. And take care of them in a minute. See if we have some of our larger butterflies um, in this box. So you can see all their foam is protecting them on top there. Got some more crackers. Here's a very large uh, chrysalis. This is a very beautiful butterfly when it emerges. And you can see um, its foam uh, bed is quite larger and deeper. And this is the chrysalis here for this butterfly. And it is called a Silver King Shoemaker. There, that's in focus a little bit better. You can see it has some fun markings on it. It will be that butterfly with the blue uh, wedding. Hopefully that's in focus. These are also fruit feeders. Their chrysalis is quite large, but they're not actually a very big butterfly. They are probably about the same size as a monarch. Not super small, but not, not as big as, say, a blue morpho, which is a very, very popular butterfly here at the conservatory. That's that big blue one. Let me see if I can find a morpho chrysalis in here. I'm pretty sure they sent us some. I see its picture on our list here. Let's see what we've got going on. Here they are. All right, so these are the blue morpho chrysalises. Again, they come in a deep, a deep cradle. You have all these little pieces of paper stuck in between to keep them separated and don't fall out. So this is what the blue morpho chrysalis looks like. Again, where's my focus point? I don't know why it's not focused. Okay, there we go. And that's that big blue blue butterfly, probably the most popular butterfly that we receive here at the at the conservatory. A fruit feeder. So when you come to visit us, hopefully you'll be able to come in this year and 
and see our butterflies. You'll see we have fruit feeders all around the room, and they are for butterflies like the morpho butterfly. Lots of morphos in here. These are we, we try to get a lot of those guys ordered in, so that's mostly morphos on that side. And then I have swallowtails over here. So these are the swallowtails. These are the ones that kind of look like bird droppings. They're hoping that birds don't come along and eat them while they're in their chrysalises. And then this is the golden longwing and the um, page, the black and tan page. And I was hoping that you could see this on camera. So chrysalises um, are alive, of course. They're, you know, there's a caterpillar that became a, a chrysalis in there. And another one of their defense mechanisms is that they will wiggle. When I first picked up that sheet of foam, these guys were all wiggling. I don't know if he'll do it for us again. No, he doesn't want to wiggle anymore. But they do wiggle so that they, again, if, there, there, there he goes. Um, if they are being sort of attacked by anything, um, mice eat chrysalises, birds eat chrysalises, other bugs eat chrysalises, um, they, can, they can wiggle and shake and hopefully deter whatever it is that is uh, bothering them. So I'm sort of irritating him a little bit to get him to wiggle for you. But another defense mechanism when they're um, in the middle of their metamorphosis. So that's kind of fun. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed that unboxing of our butterflies for this week. Again, here's a, a picture of some of the ones I showed you. We looked at the... Um, uh, purple banded wing, the black and tan page. We have some malachites in there. They look almost the same. The chrysalises are very um, close to one another in looks. We've got our swallowtails. Those are the ones that look like bird droppings, our gray cracker, the mosaic, lots of long wings, our gulf fritillary, that white, whitish, yellowish sulfur butterfly. Um, and then we have some more long wings and some other fun little little things that are hopefully going to be emerging this week and into next week. The swallowtail butterflies can sometimes take about three weeks long to uh, emerge, so we sometimes have to wait on those guys. And again, this was our Costa Rica order for uh, this week, and if you are able to come into the conservatory, Blooms and Butterflies is included in the general admission. And uh, if you are unable to come in and see us this year, uh, we do also have a video on YouTube of uh, a butterfly release talking about what butterflies do every day, and uh, you can check that out on, on YouTube if you're interested. Anyway, thanks for watching our video today on the unboxing of our Costa Rica chrysalises, and hope everybody is staying well and has a great day. Thank you.